Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back. Today I have for you guys an awesome 600k squad builder around the new future star Malin. A very nice looking card, one of the best players in the Eredivisie, the best striker, a whopping 97 pace. This guy is going to be rapid, 80 through physical as well, so he is going to be fairly strong. 510, 4 star skills, medium, medium work rates that are not the best, and he is about 190k, so a fair price and not too expensive but not exactly cheap so how does he play in game is he worth it i'll let you know in this video drop a like if you do enjoy subscribe if you're new and let me know down below in the comment section what team you guys do want to see next so starting this off the goalkeeper is gonna be courtois one of the best goalkeepers in la liga he's six foot six so massive 85 diving 87 reflexes not too bad on 1v1s and he's about 30k so kind of expensive because of spcs but he's actually a really good goalkeeper not as good as last year but still one of the top goalkeepers on the game and center back on the right hand side it is gonna be Varane now this guy is probably the second best center back after Van Dyke he just has an incredible pace he's six foot three medium high work rates so about a hundred K so dropped on him price quite a bit over the past few days and this guy as I've said just has rapid pace really good on the ball for a center back has good composure decent passing and defensively he's a beast really strong intercepts everything you can also go off Sergio Ramos to make the team a bit cheaper but Varane is a bit better and the right back it is gonna be a Prem player Joao Cancelo now this guy is one of the best right backs in the Prem I think he's probably the best one actually better than Kyle Walker very similar to Semedo 90 pace 84 dribbling 71 physical 6 feet tall high medium work rates are not the best but if you do put on a stay back while attacking he does stay back he has great pace a decent agility and awesome stamina the reason why I think he's a lot better than Kyle Walker is because of that agility Kyle Walker really isn't that meta this year. And the center back on the left hand side, it is going to be Edermo Tau, the most broken center back on FIFA 20. This guy is incredible in game, very agile, and can just bully anyone, even though he isn't that strong. I don't know why EA made him so broken. He doesn't feel like he's 81 rated. I would honestly take him over like most center backs. So the left back, it is going to be Alex Tellez. Now you can go off any Brazilian left back, but this guy for the price is the best option. I do think he's better than Alexandro and Marcelo. He has every stab of 70, 5'11", high high work rates, very good stamina so he doesn't get tired, nice crossing, on the ball he isn't that bad, and defensively he's solid. You can't go wrong for the price, very cheap, and that right there has been the back line. The center mid on the left hand side is gonna be Fabinho, now this guy is a complete rock in that midfield, not the best pace, but he really doesn't feel slow, he's 6'2", medium high work rates, about 13k, awesome defensively, not too bad on the ball either, the only issue he does have is that he's kind of clunky, that really isn't that much of an issue. Then the middle center mid is going to be Wijnaldum. Now this guy has a really nice car this year. Plays really well in game. Every step of 70. He can attack. He can defend. Really well rounded. And I do play him as a CDM in game. Nice pace. Has a decent shot on him. Very good on the ball. Defensively he's solid. And then physically he isn't that weak. And has awesome stamina. And the final midfielder it is going to be a Cam De Bruyne. Now this guy is the most expensive player after Malin. He's about 150k so not that expensive anymore definitely worth it not as good as last year and that's why he's a lot cheaper than last year I believe last year he was like over 200k this year smaller more agile players are more effective but this guy is kind of an exception he plays really well as a central cam especially with the work rates being high high he helps on the attack and also defensively and with that five star weak foot this guy just is insane in game he has a crazy shot on him decent pace nice passing he's okay on the ball does feel not like the most agile player but not bad and then physically he's actually quite strong and has very good stamina the best cam in the prem and i feel like he's a bit underrated i really don't see anyone use him and again it's mainly because more agile players are better but this guy is honestly like as a central cam or like as a center mid he is just awesome in game and that's been the midfield the right forward is gonna be Salah now he dropped in price massively and he's under 100k he has a 90 through pace 89 dribbling 74 physical through star weak foot that is a big issue but that left foot is insane he has a crazy finesse shot 4 shot skills just rapid pace 94 acceleration 90 finishing so has awesome finishing for a winger 84 long shots incredible dribbling 91 agility 88 balance very 
very good reactions, 85 stamina, 73 strength, so not the weakest player either. For the price you're paying, this guy is kind of a steal honestly. You can also go off Sterling or Mares, and I believe Mares, the third inform, is about the same price, and that actually may be a bit better than this Salah. So then the left forward, it is going to be the inform Promes. Now this guy is super cheap, he's only about 20k at this time, and is a really fun player to use, 92 pace, 84 dribbling, 5 star skills, he does so much damage as you can tell by my record, he either scores a goal or gets an assist every game, he has crazy pace, decent finishing, really good shot power, nice passing, on the ball he's really smooth, not the best balance, but that really doesn't affect him, especially being 5'9", he isn't the tallest, so that really wasn't an issue, and the final player of course is gonna be the new future star Malin, now this guy does have a bit of hype to him, almost 200k so not too expensive but not exactly cheap, he is however a lot cheaper than the other future stars, he has a 97 pace, 87 shooting, 89 dribbling, 83 physical, 510 medium medium work rates, 3 star weak foot, 4 star skills, and looking at the in-game stats, they're very good where it matters, he has insane pace, and when I tell you this guy is genuinely one of the fastest players on the game, he feels super fast, and I can't stress that enough, this guy is so quick, then shooting wise his finishing is very good, he has a 92 finishing, 89 shot power, the composure is kind of low, but with the finishing being so high, it kind of makes up for it, then the passing on this guy was decent, the long passing isn't that great, but that really didn't affect him, then on the ball this guy turns so quickly, he's so agile, but I would go ahead and add a chemistry style to boost up the balance and reactions, then physically this guy is very strong, has awesome stamina, so overall this guy was incredible in game, and again about 200k so not that expensive, the only issue I had with this card was a weak foot, but that really wasn't that much of an issue, his left foot isn't that bad, and another small issue were the work rates being medium medium, not the best, but if you do put on my stay forward and get on behind, they really won't affect them. Overall, as I've said, this guy's just a great player, one of the top strikers that I've used so far on FIFA 20. That's how good this guy was. Definitely worth the price. He's a meta card, can be used in foot champions and weekend league. And even if you don't have him like in your main team, you can always use him as a super sub. And this guy does so much damage. Highly recommended. And that right there has been the team built for about 600k, an awesome team. And now showing you guys how I do play in game. I do play in the 4-2-3-1. Fabinho and Wijnaldum don't play as a CDMs, then Promes, De Bruyne, and Salah as a cams, and as striker Malin. That's how the team does play best. You can play Salah as striker and then play Malin as a cam, but I didn't want to waste him in that position. And you can, of course, always play in the 4 1 2 1 2 second variation and go ahead and play Fabinho as a CDM, Promes as a cam, and as striker Malin and also Salah. Either formation does work. I usually switch in between both depending on who I'm playing against. And getting onto the player instructions, I set the right back on left back, I stay back while attacking. The CDM on cut passing lane, stay back while attacking and cover center. The cam on stay forward and the striker on stay central get him behind and stay forward those right there are my player instructions go ahead and copy them see if they work for you and again that right there has been the team built an awesome team for 600k that malin card genuinely was an awesome card to play with he's really fun to use is just rapid in game one of the fastest players on the game i felt like and on the ball he was so agile he turned so quickly felt quite strong and had a great finishing the only minor cons a weak foot but it doesn't feel that bad so hopefully you guys have enjoyed leave a like on the video if you have, subscribe if you're new, and let me know down below in the comment section what team you guys do want to see next. It's been ETG and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.